I think, yeah, okay. So, um, the lungs right now are completely collapsed. And the heart is lying over part of them. So there's one lung, here's the other. There are multiple lobes to them. Those are completely deflated out of the cow. And you know how big cows are at the time of slaughter, I don't know, 13, 14, 1500 pounds, they're big. Um, so we're going to try to inflate that and hopefully things will work by pushing air into the lungs and these are filling up all the little air spaces. And when this is done, what's kind of neat is you can come along and feel them. I hear an air leak. I may have to just pump faster. Yeah, like I said, I haven't had one pop yet. You can hear them when they go. You know what a balloon goes like, right? These are working pretty well. So these are inflated. I'm kidding about the poppy. <laughs> I'll just hiss on you. So we're starting to fill up that thoracic cavity of the cow. Oh, you can hear them. It's starting to creak. And those are pretty much fully inflated cow lungs. So they're hollow. They're very lightweight. They're elastic. And they will inflate and deflate with every breath. You don't really want to breathe this, but a bad, bad breath. So it deflates and then, you know, it, they just do that every time. And your lungs do the same thing. These are nice and healthy lungs. Non-smoker, youthful, maybe a bit of a couch potato in the feedlot. Um, but that's what they should look like. And uh, you can go ahead and feel them, and then just wash your hands before you eat your snacks. Um, but they're, they're very soft. They're very soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of neat. It's like slime. So, remember, 100% of the cardiac output goes through these lungs, too. So they're normally filled with blood. I filled the air spaces, but all of that blood, and you can imagine how big the cardiac output, how large cardiac output is uh, with a heart and a cow of that size, but 100% of it goes through the lungs. So they fill with blood also and air and that's where you get the gas exchange. While I have your attention, I took off a piece. There's the trachea and the C-shaped rings that we, you looked at last quarter when you did tissues. So that's the airway. This is a piece of the aorta. And it's fairly thick walled. There's very little muscle in this. It's mostly elastic fibers and connective tissue. So watch what happens. It stretches like a rubber band. So if I put my fingers through it. And that's what happens when the heart contracts. It pushes out a large volume of blood with every heartbeat and it squirts it out into the aorta, and the whole aorta expands. It swells up, and then what happens? The heart relaxes, right? And then what happens? All this elastic tension on the aorta squeezes and continues to compress the aorta and push the blood along. That make sense? Sort of like have you ever gotten in a water fight with a piece of surgical hose? They make great water balloons because they swell up and then you just let a little bit out and it just compresses and squirts the water quite a ways. So that's kind of neat. So that's what I wanted to show you. If you have any questions, uh, I'll leave it up here for a while. Because it's lined.